So we've been thinking about making this for a few months now and two days today, the first episode of the If My Favorite YouTuber Was A Cocktail series. We're gonna make cocktails inspired by some of our favorite YouTube channel today, Beck and Chris. If you guys are ready, let's do this. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. As I said, today we're gonna make a cocktail inspired by one of our favorite YouTube channel, Becky and Chris. When I first started watching YouTube videos, I was more interested about learning things on photography and videography, and Becky and Chris was there for me. They are really good at what they do, but they also are very entertaining. Becky's a designer, photographer, videographer, and also now a full-time YouTuber, while Chris, her husband, is also a very good photographer and videographer, but he is a radiologist and an helicopter pilot, so no need to say they make very interesting content. I wanted to pay tribute to them by creating a cocktail inspired by them, but there's one thing, they don't drink alcohol. So we're gonna do something that we've never done on this channel, we're gonna create a non-alcoholic cocktail, but bear with me guys, there's also a way to make this a beautiful low ABV cocktail. So if you guys are ready, let's make together the Berry and Crisp. Okay, so Beck and Chris are now living in Buffalo, but they are from Newfoundland, so I wanted to use juniper berries as the foundation for this cocktail, because it grows quite easily there. If this was a regular cocktail though, I would have used gin because juniper berries is the foundation of gin, but because they don't drink alcohol, I wanted to infuse the berries into a cordial so we get the feeling as gin without getting the booze. I thought it was a good idea. Now, they also told me they love what's refreshing and what's fruity, so I thought of using the blueberry grenadine that we made in a previous video, link up here for the recipe, and then we're gonna add a little more citrusness with grapefruit juice and top it with soda water for a delicious, complex and refreshing non-alcoholic cocktail. Now, if you want to make this a low ABV, you're simply going to add just a little bit of mezcal. It's going to be delicious. So now, let's make the cordial recipe. So first, you're going to pour 300 ml of water into a glass container, and you're going to add 125 grams of granulated sugar with 10 grams of tartaric acid. Now you can weigh 40 grams of dried juniper berries and crush them lightly with a mortal. You can add those into your glass container and add 10 cardamom pods. Now you're gonna close the lid, put that in the fridge, and let it infuse for four days. Once this is done, you can fine strain it through a cheesecloth, bottle it up, and you're good to go. So now we're ready to make the cocktail, so we're gonna add one ounce and a half of our juniper berry cordial into a shaker. To that, we're gonna add half an ounce of our blueberry grenadine. And one ounce of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. And now we can fill our shaker with ice and give it a very good shake for about 10 seconds. If you go visit Baking Chris channel, you're gonna see they pay a lot of attention to details. So that's the reason why we're also gonna pay a lot of attention to details and we're gonna make beautiful ice sphere for our cocktail. So we're gonna use our Japanese press with crystal clear cube for perfect shaped ice sphere for the cocktail. And now we can fine strain our cocktail in our glass. To that we're gonna add about three ounces of sparkling water. And that's when, if you want to make this a low ABV, you're going to add half an ounce of mezcal. Now we're just going to give it a little stir, and we're simply going to garnish it with a beautiful breadfruit wedge, just like that. And this, my friend, is how you make the berry and crisp. And now let's give it a try. Mm. They say they love what's fruity and refreshing. I think this is spot on. I also love the fact that you get a hint of juniper berries. You have the feeling you're having a real cocktail, even though there's no alcohol in there. Uh, of course, if you add a little bit of mezcal, you're gonna have the feeling even more that you're having a foolproof cocktail. I tried it before, it is very good. So that's it for me today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. This is the video for the Grenadine. Becky, Chris, I hope you're gonna love this cocktail. Guys, thank you very much for watching. 
watching leave a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to turn the bell on if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video until then thank you again have a great day and see you very soon cheers i'm gonna have a little bit of mezcal